Hello YouTube, today I'm doing a little quick video about how to change the clutch in a car. So this is the Mitsubishi Lancer, it's 2002 I believe. So changing a clutch is not that hard, it's only uh, that it takes some time. So if you have done some previous works on cars like brake jobs, maybe uh, changing CV joints, you might be able to do it very quickly. So the first thing you need to do is uh, jack the car up in the air and just um, sit it on jack stands. Then you take all your wheels off, the left side and also the right side. Then you have to take your brake calipers off, so it's one bolt here and one bolt, one bolt uh, under there. So these bolts are usually pretty tight, so use the breaker bar to get them off. So then you take your brake and off. So get a little zip pad like this and zip pad zip pad this into a, uh, something solid. So it wouldn't hang on the rubber hoses. So then it's time to get the knuckle assembly off. So this one, this bolt and this bolt, usually these are very, very tight. So you just use the cheater bar again. I believe this is size 19, yes, it's size 19. So you're gonna use the cheater bar or breaker bar, whatever you wanna call it. Now it's time to take this hub nut off. So uh, I'm gonna use a little electric impact wrench for this. Now it's time to get a hammer and just whack it. Then you get a little pickle fork like this. Okay, so now we have released the CV joint from one side, so we need to release that from the other side as well. So the other side goes directly into the keyboard, so just get your pickle foot in. Just uh, try to wedge it up against something and try to pull this off, so like that. So before you go any further, so it's time to uh, drain all the transmission fluid out, otherwise you will make a big mess. So in my case it's like 20. Now I have finished um, draining the oil off and the seam joint is clear from one end and the other end is still stick to the gearbox. So you get your pickle fork again and try to wedge it and whack it and pry it off. Yeah, it's coming. Easy. That's one, the other one is still there, so just do the same. I just pulled off the second one as well. So the first one came off uh, very easily, but the second one was just very tight. So uh, I was uh, pretty much using all every single tool, um, just all the tools laying around here are the, uh, the things that I used to pry this off. So it took me about 30 minutes to get this off because this thing was very tight. So, um, Eventually, because it wasn't coming out at all, I was trying to pull this out. That got this um, little bendable linkage inside, came out of the rubber boot. So, if that happens to you, uh, my advice is don't ever try to pull this out. Always try to pry this off. 
so this linkage mouth might come out and if you didn't notice that and put this back on the car when you try to uh, when you try to drive the car it will instant the gearbox will instantly um spin the this axle but it's not linkage it's not linked into this because it's just gone outside so it'll instantly twist the rubber and you will have no drive at all so just be careful so just uh, make sure when you put this back into the car uh these all these rubber spinal uh the rubber boots are uh, in good shape and the other one as well so now that is done so the next step is to release the slave cylinder so for this car the clutch slave cylinder is just hiding behind this uh, air box so we have to take this air box off now Okay, so now I'm under the car. So now we have to relocate the transmission mounting mounting. So this is one. Ah, uh, there's the the other one. If you can see the bolt, that's the second mount. And the third one is just where the just where the battery is. Okay, so this is one transmission mount that I took off. And the, the there's another one. It's still. There, but I uh, loosen up the bolt for that so I can just wiggle and the third one is just right here so I haven't loosened up just yet because um, as soon as you loosen that up the transmission will be just only hanging from the um, bell housing bolt so I've, I have set the transmission on top of the jack now and then now it's time to loosen up the bolts that bolts the transmission into the engine which is belt housing bolts let's do right here it goes all the way around there so now I'm taking the last two belt housing bolts off so that's one halfway through just want to show that um, these uh, flex head uh, rear wrenches so right here's what are there real handy without this I wouldn't be able to get to those because all the extensions and everything I have for the half inch doesn't work I mean it doesn't go there because there's a lot of uh, things get in the way so there's a lot of wiring and all the things get in the way so these flex head uh, ratchets are real handy real handy okay so after a lot of wiggling you managed to get the gearbox and the engine apart so now you get some room to fish your fingers and everything and try to get the actual clutch plate out so after all this uh, wiggling and swearing and all that, so you were able to get the transmission out of the car, it's just resting on the ground now, as you can see, that's, that's where the clutch goes in, so the idea is to loosen all those bolts that hold the clutch in place, so there's roughly like 8 bolts, so let's go ahead and take those off now. So while the transmission is outside, so we just give it a little clean and it was all dusty from, from the uh, clutch material that was floating around inside the gearbox. It's very dirty as you can see. Alright, so here's the clutch kit that we bought. So it comes with all this um, pressure plate and the clutch disc itself. It is inside, nice and shiny. So that was all seen way the old one was so this is the new clutch plate and the entire assembly this is the old one it's like really thin it's really thin and a lot of dust okay so now it's got dark and we're still doing the job and that is the brand new clutch plate is installed it's top down and all we have to do now is to slide the gearbox back into the engine so let's go ahead so after a lot of wiggling I was able to put the transmission back into where it belongs so there was a lot of pain and it was a lot of wiggling it took me like maybe one and a half hours to two hours and the process afterwards is very simple you install everything back on in order in the same order that you took them off uh, 
keys to the drive shafts and the engine mounts and the wheels and you had to install everything back the air box uh, that's about it so just install everything back so you take the next step is to bleed the air out of the sliding the clutch sliding the transmission back into the engine is just a matter of balancing everything so you have to the car has to be leveled the engine has to be leveled the transmission has to be leveled so I have to use two uh, heavy duty jacks for this to keep the cars leveled so in most cars you don't really have to take it out but being this the Mitsubishi Lancer 2002 which, which is a really bad design for when it comes to changing clutch because uh, all the transmission mounts are in almost um, hard to reach positions so that's it's a big pain to get into those and take all these mounts off. So once you install the clutch, the biggest challenge is to align the gearbox uh, on the spline. So after a little wiggle you can do that, but the biggest problem is to match up the bolts where transmission mounts are. So that is the biggest part, that's the hardest challenge. I was uh, just uh, struggling with um, two heavy duty jacks to uh, level up the car and in the jack up the transmission up, up to the um, engine level and then lower the car with both jacks supporting from either sides. So, so once you're done, take your uh, car for a test drive, see if all the gear changes and everything is working and if they're working then you're done. So, okay so that's how you install a clutch in a manual gear front wheel drive car. So as always thanks for watching and if you like this video press the like button and if you want to see more DIY stuff like this, you can consider subscribing into my channel. I'll see you in the next video. So now you can clearly see the difference uh, before and after. So before you were it was all easy, your body was and now it's all clean and sharp looking. Once you're done with all the polishing, you can use some sealant to seal it off. Uh, or some wax.